here is the MSI GE73 Raider RGB 8RF. What you're going to need in order to break this down is going to be your plastic spatter, your guitar pick, and your Phillips head screwdriver. Pretty simple. What, what's RGB about this? It's like this lights up RGB, the keyboard lights up RGB. It's all fancy and stuff. Otherwise, it's essentially the exact same chassis as the, the Leopard that we took apart in another video. If you want to check that out, you'll see that they're pretty much identical chassis. Again, the factory seal here. Bust that thing open, and then we'll make our way around. Unscrewing all the screws. It's gonna have 12 screws, just like the Leopard. Like I said, it's the same chassis. It's just a different series. This is gonna be available with all the fancy stuff, the RGB, you can probably get a little bit better GPU in this model so forth and so on. And just do a double check, make sure all of our screws are in fact out, and we're good to go. Oh, still have the little dust shields in here. Get those out of the way. And you gotta take your pick, work your way around here. clips to release. There we go. I want you to notice something too when you're taking this apart. If you look at this side, you'll see that there's no like little bar, I guess, or any molded plastic that actually wraps around your USB ports. But if you look at this side, you'll see that the molded plastic actually wraps around the USB ports. So when you're taking something off, when you're taking this bottom panel off, you want to remove it actually from this side first. And that way you don't worry about damaging your panel when you take it off. If you try to yank up on the other side, it's very possible that you might break that molded plastic that's there. And you don't want to do that. You still do have to pop all your clips, so make sure you work your way all the way around. And then getting your clips in the rear is always kind of a pain. I'm having a lot of trouble trying to get that stuff come unclipped. Definitely don't want to force it. Just gotta keep working at it until it wants to play. There we go. There we go. That's what we want to see. And again. You want to live from the side that doesn't have the molded plastic that goes around your ports. As you can see, you don't want to break these. They'll break really easily. All these little pieces here, if you pull from that side. And you know, of course you have a possibility of actually damaging your motherboard, so you don't want to do that. Very similar to the Leopard. Essentially the same laptop, more or less. They've just separated the series out. So you can get different stuff in this. And again, they've done this neat little pattern on the speakers. I don't know why. You'll never see them, but they do anyway, so that's cool. Again, you've got your giant hard drive here. You can have a big 9.5 inch, so you can do the two terabyte, which is nice. Go ahead and take that out. And it does have this pull tab, but it's like sticky to it. You don't really need to use it anyway, so no worries. I'm too crazy, just two screws and pull it out. I will mention like I did on the Leopard, but this is all one piece, right? So this is your GPU, that's your CPU. Just follow the numbers, you know, reverse order. All this is gonna come out together. You will have to also, you'll notice that there's numbers on the fans. All this is like cold-sided together, I believe, and that'll help with heat transfer. So it's a good thing. You'll actually see, if you look on the back, that these are actually kinda like integrated into the fans themselves. It's pretty neat. I lost my speakers. Good to know. These aren't really secured on anything but these little pegs. And we'll make sure that that is in there correctly. And it wants to be, oh, all right, there we go. So you're gonna have your NVMe slot here. This slot should be NVMe and SATA capable. So 
some heat pads that are pretty sticky there on the bottom side, so just be aware of that. I'll just put that down there, and that's where it was anyway. These came off of the last drive on the leopard video, but <coughs> it's time to actually want to stick, so it's not that big of a deal regardless. Anyway, this slide is capable of both NVMe and SATA. And of course your CMOS batteries here, you've got your new 9 series Intel Wi-Fi here. Don't know if it's any good, haven't really tested it yet, we'll figure that out later. Of course your standard RAM setup here, two sticks, pop it out, pull it out, pop it out, pull it out. Again, 30-45 degree angle it goes in, and then it just sits right back down and clips. And again, under these, just like in the Leopard, you'll see that the trackpad is there. It's really like, there's like adhesive. It's actually part of the uh, keyboard deck, so replacing that would be a problem. If you're going to need to replace that, you probably would end up having to replace the entire keyboard deck to get it done correctly. Make sure everything is flushed like you want it to be. If you're actually, I guess, good at stuff like that or you're familiar with it, you might be able to take a heat gun from a long distance and kind of soften up that adhesive and take it out. And if you want to change out your Wi-Fi card, you want to put like a, a killer Wi-Fi in here, whatever you feel like doing, again, it's pretty easy. Just remove those, get them out of the way. Now lift this guy up here. One little screw keeps it in place. And we'll pull it out. Like standard for pretty much any and all laptops, it goes in on that 30, 45 degree angle, and then it sits down. And the fun part, of course, is putting back on these Wi-Fi leads. This little piece of tape is in my way. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it for now and put it back when I'm done. Well, of course, they wanna be a pain. When these cables don't want to work with you. This is already a pain from anybody who's done this before. It doesn't matter how many times you do it, it's always a pain. My goodness gracious. Need to make sure that just covers those little metal pieces there. And we're good to go. And we're going to go ahead and put this thing back together. If you do want to remove the battery though, one last note. It's only just one screw here and the battery just pulls directly out. Other than that, we'll put it back on. Again, you want to make sure you take this side that has the molded plastic that goes around the ports. You want to get that seated around your ports first. There we go. And then from there, you just get everything at good price. Pretty much back together. We'll make our way around, put all the screws in, and then we'll check our seams. Somehow managed to turn it on. Probably when I was clicking over here. That's unfortunate. And last but not least, we'll check our seams here on the back. Here we go. And we're good to go. And again, that's the MSI G73 Raider RGB 8RF. Uh, if you're looking for a similar breakdown with the same chassis, you can go check out the Leopard video as well.